This afternoon, the front line saw continued tension with 106 skirmishes between Russian and Ukrainian forces. These varied in scale across numerous fronts, with significant involvement from both sides, especially in key areas such as Kupyansk, Lyman, Pokrovsky, and Karakiv. In the Kharkiv region, Russian forces attempted two advances near Vovchansk, a strategic location in northeastern Ukraine. These smaller but persistent clashes suggest a Russian intent to weaken Ukraine's defenses in this area. The Kupyansk direction remains a hot spot for intense fighting. Today, Russia launched 18 attacks around Hlushkivka, Kolisnikivka, and Stelmakivka, with five still ongoing, signaling Russia's determination to control this region. Concentrating forces here may be aimed at pressuring Ukraine's defense lines in northern Donetsk and Luhansk, while facilitating deeper military advances into Ukraine. In the Lyman direction, 11 engagements were recorded, with Russian attacks concentrated on Grykivka, Nevsky, Novosadovo, and Torsky, and three attacks are still ongoing. Lyman's strategic importance lies in its geographical position as a gateway towards central Ukraine and as a link to other eastern regions. Defending this area is a top priority for Ukraine to prevent Russian encroachment into more critical areas. In Seversky, there were four recorded Russian attacks, focusing on areas near Bilogorivka, Sperny, and Verknokomiansky, where one major clash is ongoing. This rugged, forested terrain makes combat difficult and prolonged, often involving guerrilla-style engagements, creating a persistently challenging battlefield. Kramatorsk saw eight confrontations today, with Russian forces focusing attacks on Minkivka, Hryhorivka, and Bilahora. Two attacks remain active. This industrial city, centrally located in Donetsk, is strategically valuable, and Russia aims to establish control here to secure vital transportation routes and impede Ukraine's counteroffensive efforts. In Turetsk, three skirmishes concluded, while four remain active. Due to its proximity to key areas in eastern Ukraine, particularly within Donetsk, Turetsk holds high strategic value. Russia's continuous attacks here reflect efforts to disrupt Ukraine's defensive lines in the area. Pokrovsky has been an intense battleground today, with 26 Russian attacks targeting settlements like Zelini Pole, Mikolaivka, Lisivka, Krudy Yar, Novogrodovka, Selidov, and Marinivka. Ukrainian defenders successfully repelled 24 of these attacks, with two battles still in progress. Pokrovsky faces immense pressure as Russian forces deploy substantial resources, challenging Ukraine to hold its ground. Kurakov faced 23 Russian assaults on Ukrainian positions in Sukurini, Zelani Drugo, Georgivka, Mikolaivka, Paraskovivka, Kostyantinovka, and Katerinivka. Ukraine repelled 18 attacks while five remain ongoing. Kurakiv's strategic significance lies in its position in western Donetsk, a critical region where large and small skirmishes occur frequently due to its role in controlling key transportation routes. In Vremovsk, Russian forces attempted five advances on Ukrainian positions in Vodyany, Katerinivka, and Bogoyavlenka. Four skirmishes have concluded, with one attack ongoing. This strategically important area near the Sea of Azov would strengthen Russian control if they managed to breach Ukraine's defenses. In the Orihiv direction, there were two major skirmishes, with one Russian attack underway near Robotini. Robotini is a crucial area in southern Ukraine, near the city of Zaporizhzhia. While Russia has intensified its efforts here, Ukrainian forces have managed to hold their positions and prevent large-scale advances. These continuous clashes across multiple fronts reflect Russia's multi-directional offensive strategy, applying pressure on numerous fronts simultaneously and compelling Ukraine to spread its forces. However, Ukrainian defenders have shown resilience and efficiency, successfully repelling the majority of attacks, particularly in critical areas such as Pokrovsky, Kurakov, and Kupiansk.